Hi everyone, welcome to a new series in a game called Urban Empire. This game came out a little while ago, and I'm sure you've uh, heard of it if you're interested in strategy. It's not a perfect game, but the political system quite interested me, so I decided to make a series on it, however short. And um, we'll see how that'll go. I, I tried one game, and I failed quite spectacularly, quite quickly. So anyway, let's uh, let's get going. We're gonna play on the campaign here. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna choose a family here. You have four families to choose from, and um, let's just see here where they have to. Um... Oops. To give us as we got aristocrats with a strong military and uh, conservative stance. Some uh, patrons of inventors and innovators. Um, working class family. Don't know why a working class family would have... Um, uh, would have a family uh, weapon, but sure. And Russian emigres. Which seem to be somewhat in culture. Uh, they have a really cool shield and stuff, so um, maybe I'll consider that. You know what, uh, in my last game I played as the working class guy, as I tend to do, and uh, I tended to go socialist. So this time let's try um, going aristocratic and um, see how that'll do. Okay, so I accidentally started the game there, but I'm sure it's fine. I uh, I thought I could choose a character, but I, I, apparently I couldn't. But anyway, we seem uh, quite imperial. So hopefully... Hopefully this is fun. Might have turned off the music in my last play when I last played it, so I, I'm gonna see if I can turn it on again. You are Ger Gerbert von Filzen, 24th Margrave of Filzen, loyal subject of the Emperor, His Imperial Highness Francis II of Austria. He appoints you to build a new city to connect Vienna to the Adriatic. You are great. granted. 500,000 dollars to set the foundation of the new city. Sounds good. I really hate how um, something like this maybe might be a little loud, but it's actually very loud. Something like that. Um, I hate how you don't get a choice to, um, to do the tutorial, unfortunately. Right, so uh, as the tutorial just said, we, um, there's, I'm gonna control by the W, A, S, and D buttons. So this is the little um, area we have to play in, and um, the... The city building aspects are a bit flawed, but as I said, I think the political system kind of makes up for it. So, we're gonna start by drawing an area. It's gonna be the starting area. Something like this, maybe? And you can choose which kind of grid you want. I'm gonna go with a, a default to begin with. Right, so uh, now we can decide what kind of services we want to have in the district. And you have to get a city hall to begin with, and I, I'm gonna place it in the mixed area right next to the industrial and the residential. The mixed area is more like um, commercial from SimCity and stuff like that. It isn't really that mixed. It's not like they've mixed uh, residential with uh, industrial. So, yep, sure. And then we're gonna confirm it. And we're gonna propose it. And now, um, this time we're gonna use our personal found funds, which you get to, um, which you get some of every month. But you can also uh, create districts with public funds. But then the the city city council have to approve it. Then we're going to go to the tech tree here. The progress cloud, as they call it, because they need to be um, original, apparently. 
Uh, yeah, so that is pretty um, standard for a progress tree and a tech tree. Um, there are five eras. This is the first one, and you need you need to reach one of these endpoints to uh, progress to, to another era. And the time also progresses over time, so that you can um, fall behind on your text if you're not careful. So, uh, so what we're gonna focus on is, uh, as you can see, they give different stuff, obviously. And this one gives a clothing store and a police station or a railway station, um, and newspapers and so on. So I'm gonna go with. Actually, I'm gonna look around a little bit. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the safety effort. You know, I'm not. I'm gonna go um, telegraph. Sounds good. Right. Um, back to the city, and we have a time control. That's great. Anything else? And I, we're gonna start off slowly here in the beginning, but over time, um, I'm gonna speed it up most likely. So our, our budget. Uh, monthly budget balance is negative, probably because we don't really have a city yet. But it is it is uh, slowly growing. You can see you can see the citizen moving around in the uh, in the town, in the city. We have a population, and that is quite small still, and uh, still in the first era. Um, so this is our personal funds, and they, they will grow um, slowly over time, but you can also uh, ask the council uh, to allocate more funds to your personal budget every um, every month. And you can also um, talk with the council so that they may uh, raise taxes or lower taxes and stuff like that, so the public um, budget also can stay afloat. So now we're going to get a tax proposal, because we are losing money, and this is tutorial... Um, motivated. So uh, we're losing money every day and uh, they're asking us if we should raise middle class worker ta taxes. And uh, you know what, uh, we are, we may be conservative but we don't like the middle class anyway, the bourgeoisie. So let's, um, sure, like, like, let's raise it a lot. And these are the parties we have right now and this is how they're gonna stand on this issue. We have them, well, we're gonna talk about what they represent later on. but. Two parties gonna overwhelmingly approve it, and one party is quite split on it, but will probably have some delegates vote for it. So, um, okay. And this is what it's gonna do. So, we're gonna have one effect, which is gonna, which is gonna increase the um, taxation on the middle class. It's kind of hard to to interpret, but you will pick it up over time, I, I think, at least. Uh, we'll get some. Um, Goodwill from the physiocratic party when they are these are kind of um, forerunners for the socialists um, Okay, so the socialist um, party is gonna get more support and Yeah, exactly. All right Now we can go to see this is the town hall <clears throat> or the city hall And uh, these are our parties. So th this is how it's uh, weighted right now we can actually press, um, click on the different parties. So this is the pre-democratic party, which is a right-wing policy, wanting more liberties and uh, lays fair generally. So they are most likely not going to support our autocratic ways, aristocratic ways, um, maybe autocratic in time as well. Uh, so they aren't so keen on uh, increasing taxes, but some of them are going to do it still because. Um, well, we are running a budget deficit, aren't we? And uh, they have um, 26 council members. Uh, then we have the National Swarelian Party, which is um, right-wing, but mostly uh, independent-focused and self-governing focused and quite nationalistic. They have seven members, not that many. And then we have the Physiocratic, which is left-wing, and have 28. And which, what I kind of like about this game is that you have a four... Uh, I mean, a two-dimensional um, political grid. So you don't only have left-wing and right-wing, but as you can see, uh, the physiocratic party is also kind of authoritative. Um, so not only are they left-wing on the economic scale, but also authoritative. Uh, and then we have the Sorelians, so they're, they're quite centrists, but they are a bit um, authoritarian. 
and the Democratic Party uh, are right wing but more libertarian than uh, than all the others or anti authoritarian if you wanna um, use the less stigmatized term. All right, so um, over time this is gonna take a as you can see the the bar around the vote um, is not filled yet. When it's filled, they are all gonna cast their vote. So if you want to. We can uh, talk to the different parties, we can plead with them, so we maybe we can ask them to praise the positive effects behind your position. And, I mean, it is true, we do need the money. So, as you can see, we did manage to convince a couple um, to join our side. And we can do the same with these guys, but they are already supporting us, so there's no real reason. So they, what you can do is you can plead, and you can demand, and you can threat. And they all have different effects, and different outcomes, and different... Um, Effect effectiveness depending on the situation. So, so as you can see, these guys have um, um, let's see here, goodwill of negative two, which means they aren't that happy with me. Uh, while these guys have a, a goodwill of two, so these guys will be more um likely to answer to a demand or plead, while these guys are more likely to answer to a uh, to a threat, and they're also more likely to answer to a threat if they are smaller um, in member size as well. I, I believe so, anyway. So yeah, let's um, let's just keep going here. Uh, I'm gonna get quite annoyed with these uh, tutorials, but um, I suppose I do need to show you how the game works anyway. Okay, so we can modify this district, and the game wants me to add a grammar school. And I think that's a grand idea, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, I was gonna do that regardless. Um, what it is saying now is that all of these things is like stats for them, for them, for the town. So we have some um, average fun, so it's still positive. Uh, we have very, very little personal growth. Personal growth is essentially intellect or um, the amount of tech points you get every every tick and so on. Uh, we don't have much happiness. We do we have a decent social life. We have very bad phys phys physical environment. And physical environment, pretty much how many parks you have and stuff like that. And the average health is good, and so on. And I, I believe the game is going to say this as well, but here's the demand meters, which tells us what kind of demands the cities have. So, like, right now the cities wants us to be, build some residential and some industrial, and definitely not build any commercial. But yeah, anyway, let's... Uh, Let's plop down this uh, school then. Let's place it somewhere that we know we're gonna have a lot of residential, which is gonna be this side of the, of the city. Um, and we might as well place it a bit like this, because then it's gonna have great range up here, and we aren't gonna be able to build anything down here anyway, so the yellow radius isn't gonna benefit those any, anything, um, any, any down there, so yeah. Okay, so let's uh, pop it down, then you have to confirm it, and then you have to propose it. And now, once again, we're going to use personal funds, funds, but we could also use public funds. And then, as you can see, pretty much every party would vote for it. So, um, Yeah, so this, this is called Wheel of Life, um, which is a really pretentious name for simply, I mean, stats, whatever you want to call it. So we can press all these different things, and it shows us how we why we get stuff like this, so uh, how we reach these conclusions. So we have a demand of 12 and provide for it. It's fairly straightforward, I, I don't really know why they need to point that out. I suppose, I mean, people might not always play city games, city building games, but still. Uh, so, fairly straightforward. Our personal funds are diminishing due to us building stuff all the time, but um, the city funds should be going up as soon as we get to vote on these taxes. And as you can see, the other parties actually interact with each other as well. So the Physocratic Party appealed to the National Swirland Party and convinced them to vote a little bit more. Right, so let's uh, go see how the vote went. And as you see, as you're seeing right now, this is this was quite obvious already before we even clicked the button. But in the future, it can be quite uh, stressful, and you can be a bit nervous on whether or not it's gonna succeed. And you can vote on some quite cool stuff um, the longer you play. Uh, like you can vote on abortion and working uh, labor labor rights and union rights and uh, uh, social justice issues, issues issues and racism and all that all that cool stuff uh, that's really fun for us uh, politically interested.
so now it's gonna tell us how to... Okay, now it's telling us all of the stuff I already tell, told you, and now it's gonna show us how we can raise taxes on our own. So instead, okay, so it's gonna tell us to raise uh, corporate taxes, and I'm gonna... Maybe 14% sounds alright. Let's um, also raise citizen taxes a little bit. And as you can see, the, um, the chamber is quite split on this. The, um, the National Swarelian Party, which are nationalized but quite centrist otherwise, uh, are gonna place in the center on that this issue. Probably gonna split even. And the Physiocratic, which is a bit bigger, two more members than the Free Democratic Party, is gonna go um, for more taxes, of course, and the, the laissez fair uh, liberals gonna go against it. So let's... Um, Let's make sure to vote on it, on it. Now we can appeal to parties, as I said. So let's try to de threaten these guys. So this situation demands extreme measures. How will you threaten the three Democratic Party if they don't support you now? You will block the next vote they pass or make their life in the council a living hell. And as you can see, it does have different goodwill repercussions. So let's uh, threaten them to make their life a living hell. We might have won a couple of votes there, hard to tell. So let's plead with the National Swarelian Party and say that most citizens agree with this. And since they're a populist, they should support that. As you can see though, while it's quite undecided and we could quite possibly still win, um, the, no, the nays still have the day. So we do need to plead with the physiocrats as well. So may, let's make... Um, let's make them understand how important this is. We lost some goodwill, but we did uh, change their opinion. So, as you can see, we just changed the balance with one vote in favor of the tax, which is perfect. That's all we need, really. I mean, you generally, per vote, only get one chance to affect all the parties, but um, uh, you, you also, at, right before the vote is taking place, you also get another chance to affect them. And I don't know what why we were supposed to look here, but this is the Wheel of Life again. You can see it's split by different classes. We got the elite, the middle class, the working class, students, and lower class. And I think you also get the unemployed eventually, uh, if I remember correctly. So um, it's quite uh, complex like that. I, I don't, I haven't looked under the hood, so to speak. So I don't know how complex the um, simulation actually is, but. Um, I mean, um, uh, on my side, it looks quite impressive so far. Okay, so the city administration is formulating regulations on te telegraph usage in the city. Uh, it's about to be connected to the continental telegraph network. Do you prioritize municipal usage or private use of telegraph? So let's go in um, private then, because we are um, right wing. We are right wing um, aristocrats. And uh, nobody should be able to talk, call or write to anyone by telegraph than us, except us. Uh, all right, so we um, this means that we've got a, a decrease in the amount that it costs to have a post office um, for for our public uh, budget, which is cool. Um, it's a uh, it's a benefit at least. So that's nice. Um, and I'm gonna wait a little while, but we are gonna expand our districts as well over time. So we're gonna have more districts, and uh, they're gonna be specialized in different things. And right now, this is named Thornton. We can actually rename it. Um, okay, we can't yet because we're still in the tutorial, I, I believe. But uh, I'm fairly certain we will be able to do it later. Might be that you can't you can only change it when you actually create the district, which would be a bummer, but you know So let's try again with the um, Svarelian party and see if we can't Make them understand how important this is Okay, let's vote And I have it once again great and this means we will have more tax rate for essentially everything and that's, this should bring us into a positive level. It did. We are now we are no longer in a deficit. We now have a um, surplus. So that's uh, fantastic. So now we have uh, industry demand high as well. So we should 
and I'm gonna try to fe keep it uh, thematic. So I'm gonna try to build um, like an industrial district here and a residential here and maybe a commercial over here. Uh, and I'm also in the council. So we got an got an event here. After the free democratic councillors' sex scandal uh, was revealed, the physiocrats' relationship with them has soured. A bit surprising, considering I mean they are on different sides of the spectrum. I feel like they wouldn't really have much of a relationship anyway, but alright, sure. Um, you agree with the conservatives, which I suppose is the physiocrats. Um, okay, sure. Um, the liberals are morally compromised, which, I mean, it's true. Who likes um, who likes liberals anyway? I mean, uh, liberal democracy have only cost us bad things, haven't it? And now I see that the, the time is up for this episode. I hopefully you like this game, because flawed at this, at this in times, and you haven't really gotten it to that part yet, it is still quite fun, and it has some interesting systems. So uh, hopefully you want to see more of it, then please leave a like if you do, or if you wanna, if you just want to show some support, I appreciate that. appreciate that as well. Leave a dislike if you dislike the game or me, and yeah, uh, consider subscribing if you want to, and otherwise I'll uh, see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.